Hey guys, James again with TFB TV. Now Pete with TFB was thinking about getting a Walther PVK in 22. So we were talking, the guys with TFB were discussing whether or not it was a good option. Now I've got one and I've always loved it. I had mine for several years. It's run great, uh, made in Germany. Now it's not as nice as the older 22 PPKs. I had one made in Saint Etienne, France that was really nice, had great bluing, good construction, but it wasn't as reliable as this newer production uh, German-made model. So anyways, we're talking about it, and I mentioned that I liked mine a lot because Walther, from the factory, you have this little thread protector on the barrel that you can take off and then just slip on whatever set of threads that you have for your suppressor, you're good to go. You don't need the, to send the barrel off to get threaded. You don't need to buy a new barrel for it. So very easy, I like it. And one of the guys mentioned that the Walther PPK, the barrel is not long enough to make rounds go supersonic, at least he's supposed. So I have no idea how long the barrel is on this, on the Walther PPK in 22. I mean, I'm gonna say three, three and a half inches at most. And I've got some subsonic ammo and a couple types of supersonic 22 ammo that I'm gonna run through it. So I have a little mini Mythbuster here. Anyways, I've got the Aguila subsonic that I like a lot, really, really quiet ammo. We're gonna shoot that first. Then we have some Arms Core 22, high velocity. And then we've got some Blazer 22 that my guys over at Ventura Munitions sent to me to test out. So let's load it up. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do three, three, and three. Three rounds of the supersonic Blazer at the bottom, three rounds of the supersonic Arms Core in the middle, and three rounds at the top of the subsonic Aguila. So when I shoot it, you're gonna hear the first three rounds. They're going to be the Aguila, they're gonna be quiet. And we'll see if the six rounds after it, if they actually go supersonic and make a little sonic boom, or if they're quiet. Anyways, let's check it out. So the first three are going to be the Aguila subsonic, so you guys can hear what the subsonic should sound like. That's about as close to movie quiet as it gets. Now these next three are the high velocity arms core. The box specifically says high velocity on it. Louder, but still subsonic. And the last three, Blazer. Again, louder, but they are all still subsonic. All right, this time I have two rounds of subsonic in here. The rest of them are supersonic. Let's see if we can tell which are which. Well, that would definitely be our subsonic, wouldn't you think? And I don't think it's quieter necessarily. It probably is moving slower than the other two, but they're all subsonic. There it is again, that last one that had to have been another subsonic. Yeah, neat. So what'd we learn today, guys? Silencers are fun, we know that. 22 silencers are extra fun. I mean, that's as close to movie quiet as it gets, and as it turns out, whichever one of you guys said it at TFB, you were right. It looks like if you put just regular, supersonic, standard velocity, high velocity, 22 rounds through the Walther PPK, it still remains subsonic, and it's still very quiet when you use it with a suppressor. So what does that tell us about the PPK? Again, I think it's an excellent host for a suppressor. You have the threaded barrel adapter at the end. The gun works reliably. And now we found out that you can run pretty much whatever ammo you want through it and it's still gonna be quiet. So if you're interested in 22 ammo, head on over to my boys at Ventura Munitions, check them out. And if you wanna buy a new or even an antique Walther PPK, I would suggest going to proxybid.com where you can either bid on live in the flesh gun auctions for antique guns or you can bid on newer guns and eBay-style gun auctions. Anyways, thanks again for watching, guys. See you next week.